Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're keeping well today. Welcome to Friendship Shaving. For a shave with a lovely razor today, kindly sent to me by those good people at Pool Shaving in India, and it is their slant or semi slant razor. It's advertised as a semi slant on their website and a slant razor on their box. So there it is. And I've had a couple of shaves with that throughout the week. I find it to be a very nice razor indeed. Today I'm going to be using a Wickham shaving soap classic 24. We'll open that ready to load the brush. And the brush I'm using today is the Yaki Mocha which I like. Can you see the swirls in there? It really shows up when I have it in my window and you can see the light through the brush. Very nice with the Mew or Sinbad knot. Um, we'll get our wet and take that straight to this lovely scented soap from Wickham's. It has top notes of bergamot and pineapple, mid notes of rose, dry birch, jasmine and patchouli, and base notes of oak moss, musk, ambergris and vanilla. It is a take on a rather famous aftershave and uh, Certainly when you open this tub, I'm picking up the bergamot and the zesty freshness of the pineapple. All in all, it's just a classic, well-known fragrance that this is a take of. So there we go, we'll get going with this lovely brush, a lovely synthetic brush. See I've got loads of soap in the brush so we're going to start to add some water. And today I'm looking around, I haven't got it out of the cupboard, so I'll have to do that in a moment. I'm going to match the scent of this soap with a very similar matching scent from Bart's Balms. Also inspired by that same famous aftershave, Creed Aventus. Just keep adding water to this soap. There we are, we'll get some friction into the mix, drop more water still, and I think that will do very nicely for today's show. get my collar guys but uh, as I've said before I'm normally wearing a shirt because I shave late afternoon I can't be bothered to take it all off and put it back on again sheer laziness on my part so the razor we've got today is very nice indeed um, I'm just reaching for a razor blade I'm reaching for a Willie's blade which is 
the razor blade that came with the razor. Got a lovely new pack of Willie's blades. I find them to be a very, very good blade indeed. Um, so when I take this apart now, put the handle down. Uh, what I find very nice with pearl is that they always stick in a little packet of these acrylic washers and uh, I really appreciate that because I'm always dropping those and on the floor I've got they are really hard work to find. There we are, there's the head cap. I'm going to just pop a Willy's premium blade in there. There's the guard plate. I'm going to put that back together. And you'll notice that there is a mark on one side of the head cap because the head cap only fits on one way around. Uh, so very cleverly put a little mark there in the shape of a little exclamation mark and it says pearl. On the bottom side we've got a little circular indentation to exactly fit that washer. I think that's a clever touch. There we are, the handle screws on. Very, very nice looking razor. Quite a long handle. Let's get going, shall we, with the first pass. There we are. As I say, guys, I've been using this about a couple of shows with it, and I'm finding it to be a very comfortable and effective razor indeed. It is another nice offering from Pearl Shaving. I'm finding that for me it's a two pass shave. And as I've said, it does go very well with these Willys blades. Um, they are also available from Pearl. I really think they're a good blade, despite the rather strange name. And they go very nicely with this razor. The razor is... Well, the razor has this long, thin stainless steel handle. And for me, it is saved by these hexagonal parts that are a little bit wider. And that is exactly where I hold the razor. Uh, generally, I prefer a wider handle. I find the thinner handles a little bit more awkward to hold but the length is very nice in this. Um, it works well with these extra wide bits. The head is a special zinc alloy. There is some blade feel with this, but it's not excessive. And I should bear in mind that I've had about three days growth uh, today. So I've got quite a bit of growth that it's just mowing through very happily.
this style of slant riser with the larger portion of the head on one side and narrower on the other. Very easy to just turn that around. And get it in under the nose. Very nice first pass, really nice first pass guys. It certainly works very well. Um, yeah, very nice so far. I have been enjoying it and it was very kind of Pearl Shaving to send this to me for a, a review. The razor is 10.5 centimetres in height and 107 grams in weight. So it is a fairly decent weight to this um, and certainly a decent length if you like the long handle. And it is inexpensive, I must say. I uh, was looking just yesterday on the Pearl website and uh, it was 789 rupees and 3000 rupees which is a flat rate postage and that together converts to English money £36.70 so even with the postage I think you get an exceptional value really exceptional and of course I sell other things as well shaving soaps shaving brushes and I have a selection of items from Pearl and I will use something in my following shaves till I've shown you everything I've got from them. I'm loving this scent guys, it is a really, really nice scent. As many of you will know, there have been many takes on Creed Aventus, but I do enjoy this Wickham's Classic 24. Now, we'll go against the grain on the neck and uh, I'm founding, I'm finding rather, once I've taken that first growth off my face, this is now very comfortable on my neck, going against the grain and the blade feel that I felt initially is mostly gone now. So I think that initial blade feel was in part because I had three days growth. It's certainly mild enough that I can use this razor against the grain on my face. I'm not having any problem at all. And yet it's effective enough that I get a superb shave. And the only little bit of blade feel on the second pass is just on my top lip there where everyone 
I suspect gets a little more blade feel just because the, the skin is softer there and more pliable. Swap hands. Guys, the razors I've used from Pearl um, have been very, very good. Of course, we've got the Pearl Flexi, a very heavy razor. For me but absolutely superb a pearl blaze is another very nice razor and then we have the K9 um, which have the thin handle which is uh, I didn't like that so much Purely because of the handle. And we have their slant. And there we are, that is two passes. Guys, it's absolutely superb. link below to the Pearl website so you can go and have a look at it. There it is. It's got a slanted head and a slanted blade. Very nice design. Very good indeed. Uh, it comes in a matte finish. Just reaching for Ben Nevis which is the uh, Bart's scent that matches up with classic 24. It's not exactly the same scent notes as the soap, but very, very close, and they certainly do match together. But guys, that's a fantastic shave. Really, really nice. Beautiful shave. Let's have a little bit of this balm on. Um, this is part of a, a set that was, I think it was $16.99, and you get seven, seven little pots like this um, with a lot, a surprising amount of aftershave balm in each. I bought them ages ago, I've still got them. Still got most of them. It's got argon oil in it, so it's really good for the skin. You can see I've I've got far too much on. You only need a little bit. I just rub that on my arms and on my forehead. Guys, that's a great shave from Pearl. Thank you very much to those kind gentlemen at Pearl Shaving. And thank you very much for watching me shave with a fixed angle, non-adjustable slant razor. I hope you're well, guys. Take good care of yourselves. Please subscribe if you're thinking about it. Bye-bye now. See you next time around.